Hey guys, uh, this is buildmyecommerce.com. This is my first video that I'll be creating. Um, so I might be making a few mistakes along the way. Just want to give you guys a heads up. But hopefully uh, you guys will learn something. So uh, in this first video, I'll be showing you how to install OpenCart using HostGator. Now uh, you can be using any other hosting companies um, but I happen to be using HostGator for a couple of main reasons. Um, under their business plan, uh, they provide you with a free private SSL and an IP address, plus a free toll-free phone number. Uh, it's basically a, a call forwarding service where your customers call uh, your web store and you can have the call forwarded to, let's say, your Google Voice phone number or your uh, personal cell phone number which is great and they also provide you with a free private SSL and an IP uh, which allows your customers to do a secure transaction uh, from your website so without it I wouldn't open a store so uh, let's get started sorry for the uh, the background noise I live in New York City and train station right behind me anyways um, once you logged into the uh, control panel of the host gator uh, inside the search box right here type mysql and you want to click the, the database wizard and you want to create a, a database name I just want to call it demo store uh, you see the tech NYC here, which is the username I created uh, with HostGator. So whatever you created, you probably see it right here. Uh, click next, and here uh, you want to create a, a username for your uh, database. So I'm just going to call it um, demo user. Type in uh, your password. And uh, create user, and uh, click uh, all privileges. Next step. Uh, once that's done, uh, you want to return home. Uh, we want to go to the um, opencart.com and go to uh, download and download uh, the opencart software. So uh, the latest version uh, is the 1.5.6.1, which was released uh, back in January 7th, 2014. You want to click on download. I want to save it to my desktop. So save link as. Go to my desktop. Click save. So once you have done that, is um, open up the zip file and inside the zip uh, you want to go inside the upload folder and a couple of things you want to do here you want to change the config dash dist uh, you want to delete the dash and the dist here okay and then you also want to go into the admin folder and delete dash dist for the config Okay. Once you have done that, go back, select all the uh, files, right click, and then compress. Uh, if you're using a PC, uh, you should have something similar. It might be called uh, compressed to uh, zip file. Uh, you want to rename this open card. Um, th basically doing this to upload just one file to my file manager instead of, you know, clicking one by one um, to upload which would be time consuming so go back to your control panel and inside the search box window uh, type in file manager and uh, click on file manager here make sure you select your domain name uh, for my case I'm using my building my ecommerce.com uh, once you're in here, you will see all the uh, 
folders and files and you, you want to go into the uh, the public underscore dot h i mean public underscore html inside i've already created a demo store folder in here uh, in your case you can just uh if the domain name that you're using is the main domain name uh, you can just uh you don't even need to create a folder you just can copy it into the uh, public underscore html but in my case uh, buildmyecommerce.com is my main store I'm just creating a demo store and I don't want to replace any of the other files so go into the demo store and click uh, upload right here click uh, browse and go to your desktop go into the open card folder here and click on the upload folder and we want to click on the, uh, the zip file that I created click open and you'll see the status bar in your lower right corner here. Okay, so it's uploading. Okay, it's complete now. Go back. What you want to do is select the uh, zip file here and click extract. Extract files. Okay, that's done. And you want to delete the zip file because you don't need it anymore. So highlight that and select delete. And also delete this Mac OS X file uh, folder. I don't really need it. So once you have done that, uh, you should go to your domain name. Uh, in my case, I'm using uh, buildmyecommerce.com forward slash demo store. So the demo store here. Is what I see in the uh, under the public underscore HTML, which is the folder that I created. And once you press enter on your keyboard, it will go to your store. Uh, you will start the uh, installation process here. Uh, click continue. Uh, just make sure everything here is green. Click continue. And for the database driver here, Select my SQL, leave the uh, local host as it is. For the username, this is the database that we created earlier. So if you go back to the uh, control panel and go to my SQL, click on my SQL databases, and the user that we created is techNYC underscore demo user. So copy that. And then you want to paste it here. The password, enter your password. For the database name, it's right here on the database. We created a demo store. So copy the whole thing here. And then paste it into the database name here, and leave the uh, the prefix as it is OC underscore. The username. Uh, this is a username that you'll be using to log into your um, the back end of OpenCard. So just leave it as admin, and create a password for that, and then enter your email address in here. So in my case, info at build my commerce.com click continue okay now after you click continue you will say don't forget to delete your installation directory so go to your uh, file manager and you see this uh, install folder highlight that and then select uh, delete and delete file so that's gone now so if you go to your online shop click right here Uh, there you have it. You just uh, installed uh, OpenCard. Uh, this is the, the default template that it comes with OpenCard. But uh, in the future videos, I'll be um, using this and then uh, showing you how to you know install, I mean, place your uh, logo right here. And also, I'll, I'll show you how to upload uh, products individually and also how to use a 
a CSV file or a Google Doc uh, spreadsheet they can use to upload in one shot. So uh, please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.